Fucking hell, I didn't realise this thing went on for 17 and a half minutes. Oh well. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a long battle, looks like. I hope you got some popcorn and shit, cause this is a long haul. Um, yeah, this is using the same Skarm team that I used last time. But it's not like the last one, because this one actually has, you know, some decent plays made. And I'm not a complete gibbering retard for 90% of it. Only about 60. Give or take, you know. Either way, he has a very, very, very rainy team right there. I was a bit bemused and perplexed by the fact that he's running four water types. One steel and one poison. Don't know about you, but you get some grass in there. I mean, Volcarona, if, it wasn't, if I could get rid of that Tentacruel and the Jellicent, I guess, it'd probably clean up quite nicely. But either way, that's some lies, because it doesn't. It really doesn't. Because I'm a dub, and it probably dies in some stupid way. Oh well. Anyway, he's going to lead off with a Rotom Wash, as I was slightly perplexed. I'd expect him to lead off with Politoed, but there you go. And, um, I, yeah, I don't really want to sit around for this. I don't believe I do, anyway. I believe I'm going to go to Blissey, because Blissey is just like, oh, hey. Oh, no, I sit in. So he's going to go, oh, he goes Hidden Power Ice, okay. I guess I was U-turning to Scout. If I'd have outraged, if I'd have fucking outraged, God, my problems would be slightly easier to deal with. And he would have gone to Rachi, yeah, that would have been good. Oh, well, u turn does a crap ton. To my surprise, actually. I mean, like I say, Bandit Hydragon has got some power behind it, but uh, I'm not entirely convinced as of now. It's not really my cup of tea. I think it's got the same Machamp problem with it being a bit too slow. Anyway, I'm in Blissey now, and he's got... Ah, uh, ah, oh, oh, no, I'm not in Blah. I don't want to be in Blissey. Blissey can go fuck some other fat bastard. Anyway, he's going to bring in the Polytoad as I go into Skarmory. I was switching into Skarmory predicting the Toxic Oak because I was like, oh, hey, he's going to want to bring that shit in. But um, the fact that Skarmory is such a big threat to Toxic Oak really should have made me think he's not going to bring in Toxic Oak. That'd be silly. And now here, I am switching to Militic because I was expecting, I don't know, a Hydro Pump. I didn't know what set he was. And he goes Hypnosis. Like, fuck, I would have outsped and I could have taunted. And as it turns out, he's Hypnosis Perish Song set. Now, I'm not going to say Militech would have done a lot when you consider he's got four water types. Um, and he's got Toxicroak, which absorbs water. But the Militech would have been nice to sponge some hits, bring it in as some checks. You know, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, he's going to go into Rachi, which would be perfect for Militech. To drop a Hydro Pump in its face. But no, he's going to Thunder. And from the looks of it, he's Scarf, which is kind of perplexing because... Pretty sure he's got a Scarf Rotom. Although that's actually Militech isn't that quick. He might not be Scarfed. I don't know. If he is, then well, hey. But actually, I run two Scarfers on my teams. Anyway, I'm getting quite tangent here today. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to go into Blissey because Blissey's just like, oh, hey. What? Special attacks? What? No. I, I'm not. No. And um, he is quite blatantly not going to switch at all. I, I was going to say he was going to switch, but um, yeah. I think he was predicting me to do what I did last time and switch into Skarm, but I was having none of that. And um, this is actually a, I don't know if I showed the Shadow Ball last battle, but this is the Seismic Toss Shadow Ball Bliss, just like um, how Xerxes used it. I mean, there's quite a lot of Blissies, but they all sort of revolve around trying to kill certain things that check them, like uh, Shadow Ball for Ghost Types. Or you can run T-Wave, like Stealth Rock, Seismic Toss, Softball, T-Wave. There's the... Um, the uh, charm set, I remember Xerxes used that. I literally get all my knowledge on Blissies from Xerxes, so if this sounds a bit kiss arsey, then it really is. Um, I remember he used Counter Bliss a lot. Anyway, I go into Melotic, and he only goes Scald, and I'm fearing the taunt like nobody's business. I don't want to deal with Taunt Jellicent, man. It's not fun. But I am going to go into Skarm, and I am going to go for the taunt as he goes for Will I'm like, ha! Huh! I deliberately made Skarmory to outspeed you, you fucking bastard. What have you got? What do you got on that, sir? And now I'm going to switch out and go to Blissey, because it's just like, ha ha, screwed over, as he switches into Rotom. I really don't want to get tricked. Really, really don't want to get tricked. 
and I am presuming he is going to trick. So now I'm going to do what I did last battle, except I'm going to go into Volgarina this time, and he is going to trick. And I'm like, yay, I made the right play. I'm special. Oh, God. It was really ballsy, though. This, uh, this battle actually took place before the last one. It's just the last one, you know. It, yeah, the, the one that was before this one had four mi well, 30 minutes of stall, which I had to speed up. I figured I may as well explain my point there. Anyway, he's going to go into Tentacruel as I go Bug Buzz. I was tempted to go Giga Drain, but it didn't really seem like much point. What? Well, yeah. I don't know. He has enough things to check it, and Bug Buzz kind of sort of hits a nice portion of his team regardless. Ah. Anyway, um, I am actually going to switch out, and my main game plan is if I go to Noir, I can Wisp this fucking thing, and it'll be cool. What I should have done is gone to Skarmory and taunted it like a smart person, because he's going to get two layers of Toxic Spikes up, and oh fucking hell does that kick my ass in. Oh well. So yeah, there's the second layer as I go Wisp. I was just trying to stop the recovery. That was my main game plan. I really didn't... Mm, I may need to bring some kind of poison type. Maybe I should bring Terry. Oh, it'll be amazing. I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Just Toxic Spikes really screwed me over. Anyway, he's going to go into Ratchet as I go EQ, which is just like, ha, huh, didn't see that one coming, did ya? So now his Ratchet is looking pretty low. And I need, need, need to get rid of that fucking Ratchet, because Ratchet is going to be a pain in my ass. I, it needs to go. Like, a, a decent amount, you know, a decent speed. I just can't be bothered to deal with it, because it can just come in and switch out, whatever it feels like. Um, I do go EQ again. I was thinking of going Sneak, but it's sort of, that's a bit too finicky for my liking. And now here's my game. I believe this is where, no, I'm going to switch out. I, there's a bit coming up later. Um, I am going to go into Skarmory. I, I don't, I'm not entirely sure why. I do have a bit of special defense investment. But it's sort of like, I, if I was going to have anything tricked, it's got to be Skarm. Because I, I, yeah, that that trick kept coming back to me, man. It's fucking horrible. He's thinking, oh, he's going to trick now, he's going to trick now, he's going to trick now. No, he's not. Stop it. Anyway, in comes Ranchi again. I need this thing to go away and rot in hell and die. But I am going to switch out. And I'm going to go into Blissey. And Blissey gets poison. He goes hidden power, it m probably in all likelihood is fire, but I don't see why he wouldn't go thunder regardless. I don't know. Actually, no, he's running on a rain team. I don't know what it could have been then. Maybe water? Ooh. Anyway, he's going to go into the Jellison, and um, I sort of wanted to stick around. I, I clicked Shadow Ball. I know Toxic is kicking my balls in right now. I do realise that. I'm not that dumb. But I wanted to see if he was a torn Jellicent or not. That's really weighing on my mind at the moment. Because I'm sort of... I don't know. I'm regarding it with shifty eyes. I'll tell you that. Because I fucking hate torn Jellicent. He's to just rot in hell and die. Ugh. But he's actually going to switch out. Predicting me to go into what I presume is... Well, actually... I don't know. I don't know what he's presuming me to go into, but he's gone into Toxicroak now, and um, I can't sit here to save my life. One of the things I do need to do is get rid of Toxicroak, because it's going to be a massive thorn in my side. It just needs to go. So I am actually just going to go straight into Skarm, which is kind of ballsy at the end of the day. He's going to go for a bulk up. I don't know if he's just got bulk up, or if he's running sub, what, I'm not entirely sure. He might have showed sub at one point, I do not remember. Um, oh, what? oh, cool, my friend's going to play Pokemon. Huh. So, um, yeah, sorry, I randomly got off track, I got a Steam message, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, um, I'm going to go Taunt here. He's going to go for another bulk up. I figured the Taunt was the most oblivious, the obvious thing in the world. So I figured he would probably Drain Punch, because that made a lot of sense in my head, but oh well. But he's actually going to switch out here. Um, I do go Counter, because I figured I could take one. Just barely. But he is going to go into Rotom, and it's just like, Hey, you Rotom, go away. <laughs> Why won't you die? It's so annoying. Um, I believe if Volcarone is still alive, that's what I go into this time. Because, I, I don't know. I just... Oh. I think the main problem is I'm so scared of my walls dying. Yeah, it's, it's, They're walls! It's, 
They're not going to live forever, they're just going to entertain kids. Blissey especially, although I suppose in their own rights, Blissey could probably sit there forever. Oh no, I do stay in. Alright, he goes in power rice and I roost, and I'm like, ha ha! Go, go, Skarm. I do quite like this Skarm set, but I think it's going to need a different team to get the best out of it. Because my main plan was, oh, I'll use Skarmory as a pivot. I never find Skarmory as a pivot for my team. I don't think it covers any of my guys well enough to warrant it to use as a pivot switch. That and I generally, I, it's, uh, with counter as well. I mean, the Taunt Tailwind set, I wouldn't mind having that as a pivot. But, yeah. Anyway, I got Taunt Brunette in him to switch out because he's locked into hitting by a fucking ice on a Skarmory. It's not getting him anyway. And in comes Politoed and it's like, ha ha! No more hypnosis shit for you, so I'm gonna go to Blissey, and I need to fucking soft boil right now. I'm so low on HP, it's ridiculous. And, um, he, uh, he is gonna switch out. I believe he goes into Toxicroak again, I guess? Random stab in the dark? I'm not entirely sure. Um, what are you going to do? I had this battle at like one in the morning, man. It's, yeah. Oh no, he goes into Rotom. Ah! This is it, yeah. I I made the mistake of thinking, ah, he's going to trick again. I thought he wouldn't want to lock himself into Hydro Pump on Blissey with a Rotom, because that would be dumb. But I should have thought that he would predict me to think that. But I'm like, oh, I'm going to Volcarona! Oh, Volcarona handled it! Oh, no! Hydro Pump, face, dead. Genius, second. Genius. Gah. Eight days out and I can't even use Volcarona anymore. It's depressing. Oh, well. Um, here, I believe this is where I may... Yeah, I go into Dust I'm thinking, right, he's going to Hydro Pump me. I'm going to Pain Split and I'm going to Shadow Sneak and I'm going to fucking kill him and I will laugh. But the game... You know the games really hates you when a move you want to hit from the opponent, you want an opponent's move to hit, misses. That's when you know the game is just laughing at you. So there you go. It misses. And here I go Shadow Sneak thinking, oh, I'm not going to live one. He goes Hydro Pump. Dust Noir fucking lives. It's like, duh, duh. I could have pain split and it would have been fine. I mean, it, oh, Shadow Sneak, I doubt would have killed him after the pain split, but good duh. Thanks, Dusky, you rombell And now I have to go into Blissey. Just, just wasted two guys on this Rotom. I swear to God, I need, I need to make a check to fucking scarf Rotom. There has to be something that can kill the stupid washing machine. Ugh. I thought, well, actually, no. Volcarona might outspeed it, at a guess. Scarf Volcarona, don't know. I don't know. I, it might do. I, ugh. Well, I am modest, and I'm assuming most Rotoms would run timid, but again, I have no clue. If it does, fantastic, I'd, yeah. But on the other hand, I can't exactly switch Volcarona into Rotom, can I? Either way, his fucking Toxicroak is back again. And my main game plan now is I, I know he's going to Drain Punch here. That's uh, just insanely obvious. Because he's bulked up. Last time he bulked up, I went with Taunt. So, yeah. He goes Drain Punch, and I go Counter. And I was feeling pretty good for that for a minute. I go Counter there. Does a hell of a lot to the Toxicroak. I'm thinking, yeah, okay. I can, I can live another Drain Punch. That's good. You know, whatever. I, I, I have no worries with this. I go Drill Pack, and um, it doesn't do enough. And then he drain punches again. I'm like, oh, shit. And now I've gotten myself into this little predicament where he's drain punching. I mean, I, it might have been better to try counter again. But I thought I, if I'd had Brave Bird, I would have killed. But I don't. I went for the... I mean, that's the thing. That, that, this is why I prefer power over... I'm a power over accuracy kind of guy. I take Fire Blast over Flamethrower any day of the week unless it's, you know, it kind of depends on the context. But on an offensive guy, I would take Fire Blast. And that's probably why most people run Brave Bird on Skarmory, because Drill Peck just doesn't have enough power behind it. It's just a little bit too weak. Either way, I'm sufficiently angry at this point. And I think, okay, let's go to Hydreigon. It's Outrage. I'm done. I have nothing else to kill this thing on this Hydreigon. Outrage, get rid of this stupid fucking frog. It needs to go away. Um, Jirachi is also at low enough health where... Um, you know, Hydreigon will probably kill it, but Jirachi outspeeds, Rotom outspeeds. 
I mean, Hydrocon, I quite like the idea, but I really don't think it can pull off. I mean, maybe Life Orb. I, don't know, I was thinking of going for a wide lens set with, like, Dragon Rush, because I love me some wide lens dragons, man. They're good. When they feel like working, of course. And then he brings in this rush and goes, Draco. And I, I'm just like, yeah, I'll give you that, man. I will give you that. It's very rare you see a Draco Rachi. So, um, yeah. He got it in the bag now. Basically, what he does is he goes to Rotom. He tricks my Blissey as I aromatherapy off the Toxic. Um, I know he's going to trick me. I lock myself into Shadow Ball. He goes to Politoed, pulls Parish Song, and um, I lose. Alright, so now that the best of the battles have been rounded, uh, rounded up, yeah. Um, I might do a couple more battles with this team, or I might try changing it. But it's sort of, I don't know. Because it, it plays a bit too slowly. I, I, maybe I'm playing it too slowly. I don't know. But it's sort of like, when you go into Skarm or Dusky or Blissey, all pace that you had is lost, you know. you. Yeah. I don't like playing that way. I mean, a lot of the way people play with Blissey is if something big and chunky comes in, they're like, oh, Blissey will save me. Go to Blissey. Sit there five turns. Wait for him to leave. Switch out again. It's like, I don't like playing that way. I like playing fast, quick, go, bird, chew, pred predictions, yeah. I like playing that sort of pace of a game, not, ah, oh, this is slightly threatening, I'm a pansy, I'm going to go to my fat bitch. So, I mm, I might try the, the Torn Counter Skarm in a different team, but it's looking a bit tricky at the moment. I will figure it out, though, because I do like it. It's got, you know, nice bulk, it can tank a nice number of things. Counter has quite a lot of usage, you know. Torn, especially against things like Jellison, is incredibly useful, and I do quite like it. So I'll see if I can fit it in. My other main problem is you know, I might have to run it with like Don Fan or something, just so I can at least get some fucking stealth rocks up here. Because I didn't want to run it on Blissey, because I wanted Shadow Ball, and even though I had Dust Noir, Ooh, genius. Oh well. So that's the end of the battle. He's gonna, you know. Stole me out of Paris song. Down goes the fat bitch's HP, and that is good game. I hope you all enjoy the 17 minute long battle. Good God. If any of you managed to watch through this, I applaud your attention span. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace.